Hi, so I'm Arthur. I'm editor of the Scheme Requests for Implementation. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to talk about. So while I give this talk, I just want everyone to kind of keep in mind uh, the question, how do we grow the language? Uh, the surfies, which I'm going to explain, are just one way to grow the language. Um, but you know, how do we move it forward over time? So uh, just this is a quick outline of what I'm going to talk about. The first, the purpose of the surfy process how you can participate, because we're always looking for volunteers, uh, how surfies have helped Scheme evolve, and then the future of surfies. So, uh, oh, there we go. Uh, so imagine you are writing a Scheme program. You might need any of a number of uh, bits of extensions to Scheme, right? If you have a Scheme implementation, it might not be good enough for you, right? You might need threading, you might need OS, uh, interaction. You might need uh, better syntax for multiple return values. There are all kinds of things you might want to add to the language which aren't there already. Um, you, sorry. Uh, if you're an implementer of Scheme, you might want to be able to, you might want to add features that people are calling for, uh, and you might not want to do a lot of work. So it would be nice if there was a large body of existing code that you could just take advantage of, uh, maybe with just slight tweaks to make it work with your implementation. And then third, um, you might want some features added to Scheme. So you, you might be a, a lover of the language, but you just, there's just this one little thing, like you know, strong typing that you want to add to the language. <laughs> uh, uh, so you can, uh, this is a third motivation for surfies. You'd like to uh, maybe convince some of the implementations to add these features that you like, uh, but you also might want to try to convince the standards, the RNRSs, the IEEEs, et cetera. Uh, to incorporate your, your idea. Um, so what is SURFIES? Uh, basically, they are a process for extending Scheme. It's a formal process. Uh, it's parallel to R6 and R7. It started around the time of R5's uh, ratification. Uh, so far, we have 163 detailed proposals. Uh, they are requests, not requirements. So. Uh, unlike a standard which can say this is what the language is and if you are going to implement Scheme and call it R6RS or R7RS compatible, it must have these features. Uh, Surfies are just requests to the implementers, hey, I have this great idea, I've detailed it in great, I, I've, I've written it up in great detail, I've talked about it with other people, uh, would you please, please, please implement it? So that's, that's what Surfies are. And as of this month, they are 20 years old. The Surfies process has been running for 20 years. Uh, so that's why I'm talking about it today. I figured uh, you know, any process in our community that lasts that long is kind of amazing and, and uh, uh, maybe someone can learn from it. Um, I'm sorry, I'm having a little bit of trouble with my remote here. Okay, so uh, I just want to compare these to the RNRS process. The RNRS process, uh, if, you, if you've been following it, uh, is wonderful. Uh, I've certainly participated a lot myself, but it takes a long time between standards. So if you want to get something into the language, uh, it's going to take a long time. Uh, the SURFI process, by con comparison, is a shorter process. It doesn't require consensus. Uh, uh, and again, it's uh, not requirements, only uh, requests. Uh, and the SURFI process is driven completely by the volunteers who uh, contribute to it. Um, so there really isn't any sort of, even though I call myself the editor, I'll explain in a minute, there really isn't any editor who says yes or no to your proposal. If you make a proposal and you follow the SURFI rules, your proposal will be accepted eventually. Um, so I'm going to do something Jerry Sussman used to do in his 001 classes that would either infuriate the students or they would love it. I'm just going to do it really quickly. Uh, I'm going to do all the slides for all the surfies all at once real, real fast. So just to give you a feel for 163 different designs and proposals that have been uh, uh, discussed for the language, here they are. The, the first number is the surfie number. Each, each one is numbered sequentially. The second is its state, uh, which I'll explain later, and the third is a title. Um, so you can see we've been discussing an awful lot of uh, additions to the language. Uh, a lot of people have made proposals and put a lot of effort in. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that's a lot. And you could add to the end of this list. So uh, now we've talked about the purpose of the SURFI process. Uh, I'll tell you how you actually can participate. Um, so 
just prepare a proposal if you would like to have something go through our process of you know, trying to persuade an implementer to add your feature to the language. Prepare a proposal. You have to prepare a design document. We have a very straightforward, not too hard template to follow. Uh, uh, you need a sample Im implementation under almost all circumstances uh, and tests. Uh, and uh, send your proposal to, right now it's me, but uh, we've had eight editors over time uh, to surfy editors at surfy.schemers.org. Uh, and then I'll publish the proposal, assuming it meets the requirements, on the website and make it a public announcement. And once that's done, uh, okay, it's, okay, sorry about the remote issues here. Um, we have a mailing list for every surfy, so we, we, basically anyone in the world can uh, join our mailing lists and discuss uh, the proposal that, you, that you've made. Uh, we typically have, you know, five or ten, sometimes fifteen, depending on the proposal, uh, people discussing it and giving feedback and, and so on. And the proposal will typically go through a whole bunch of uh, revisions, a bunch of drafts. And, uh, basically, the author will you know, respond to comments, make changes, clarifications, revise the API, et cetera. Uh, and then I'll push up, push new, push and announce new drafts as time goes on. And then after 60 to 90 days, we hope, although some of them have been going quite a bit long since I took over, I've been lax on enforcing our deadlines. Uh, either you decide to withdraw your proposal because uh, you feel like it's not well baked enough or you don't have time to work on it or for any other reason that you have, or we finalize it, in which case it becomes marked final and it's now officially a proposal that we're requesting that implementers add to their implementation of, of scheme. Uh, and then you try to convince people to add it to, your, to the language. It's a lot easier to convince someone to uh, add your feature to the language if you provide them a really nice detailed spec with documentation that they can almost cut and paste and put into their manual and software, you know, a software implementation and tests. Uh, so, uh, yeah, really quickly, we have, we have, uh, when, when you publish it, we have a number of states that your document can be in. Initially, you go through a bunch of drafts and you can finalize it. Uh, once it's in the final state, all you can do is publish a rata. Only we can only allow you to correct tiny mistakes, uh, not design mistakes, but just you know typos, contradictions, and that kind of thing in the document. But otherwise, we try to treat it as a standard and leave it untouched. But if you, the author of an, a surfy, decide, hey, I have a new revised version that I really would like people to uh, to accept instead of my original version and you provide that and we finalize that, then we allow you to withdraw your initial version. That's a slight tweak to the process that uh, wasn't originally true. Okay, so we talked about how you can participate. Now I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of the history of how Surfies have helped uh, Scheme evolve. Uh, so like I said before, uh, the Surfie process is quite old for a computer process. Uh, it's 20 years old. Uh, we have 163 of them, as I showed you. Um, right now, there are three in draft. 126 are final, and 34 have been withdrawn. Uh, the number 34 is in, a little bit inflated, and I'll explain why uh, in a minute. Um, and you can see just the history over time of how, how it's gone. So this is you know, the zero mark, right around the time R5RS came out. Uh, in 2007, R6RS came out, uh, so that you can see You'll see in a minute why uh, this sort of graph goes up right before our 6RS comes out. There's a little bit of a lull here, and then around the time of 2013 when R7RS came out, uh, we've had a big increase in the number of surfies uh, since then. Uh, okay, so how is the surfie process, how do we compare that to the uh, RNRS processes? So I'll, I'll compare it to R6 first of all. R6 editors, the R6 editors decided to use the Surfy process as their sort of organizing principle for a lot of uh, their efforts in R6. They would make a proposal for a particular feature that they were considering adding into R6, uh, uh, you know, revise it through the standard R, uh, Surfy process, and then uh, once they were satisfied with it or had decided not to use it, they would withdraw it. Um, and in the end, uh, they incorporated a subset, subset of Surfy 1 into R6 and then largely incorporated all these other Surfies into the language. So Surfy was 
quite influential in R6. In R7, uh, small, basically, if you look at the, I'm, I'm going basically from the bibliography right now, but uh, if you look at the r7rs.pdf document for the small, you can see all of these surfies uh, referenced. Nine, for example, uh, was the record proposal that was largely accepted into the language. And then uh, John Cowan right now is running uh, r7rs large, the effort to make the, the sort of larger version of the language. And he has done kind of what R6 did and organized everything around the, R, uh, around the surfy process, but without the uh, goal, without the plan to withdraw things at the end. Uh, and right now, John alone has co-authored all of these surfies, so that's why the graph goes up and to the right so much since, uh, since R7 small was finalized. So yeah, it's been a big part, even though it's parallel to and kind of independent of the R, R, uh, NRS process, it's, it's had a big influence. Uh, and then uh, just to give you a feel for uh, whether it's actually being successful, uh, this is a graph of all the surfies left to the right or just the surfies. So, you know, we've gotten up to number 162 right now. Uh, and as you can see, there are a lot of implementations of them. This only counts the implementations that are not just sort of fundamentally part of the language, if, if for example, if you're an R6 RS uh, implementation, you'll have several of them included just as a base part of the language. Uh, this is just the ones which people, you know, allow you to import or load or whatever and include with their, with their implementation. As you would expect on the left, the older uh, surfies are more implemented than the newer ones, but uh, we're hoping that the numbers on this side will go up too. Uh, and then this is just a weird visualization I created. Uh, it just shows on the x-axis the surfing number. So this is surfing number 162, and that's zero on the left. And on the y-axis, I picked a whole bunch of implementations where I could get data about what surfies they implemented. So there's a dot wherever this particular implementation implements this surfing. Yes? Uh, if you look at the paper, I have all a huge bibliography, uh, but a lot of it comes from Shirakawa's... Uh, community scheme website. If there's a website with a lot of it. Uh, and then I've also gone through the implementations of some of the schemes and uh, 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 their own independent websites. Unfortunately, we haven't kept a sort of, you know, because it's requests, um, we kind of hand off to the implementations. And there hasn't been, over these 20 years, a concerted, careful effort to say, OK, if you implement it, please let us know. Uh, so it's a little bit of an approximation. There may be dots here that are missing. So, uh, and uh, yeah, so for the future, um, come on, there we go. Okay, uh, uh, I have one thing which I, I one major ch change that I made to the surfing process when I came on as editor in 2015, which was I kind of relaxed the 60 to 90 day deadlines that used to be around. Partly really nice surfies that have taken over a year <laughs> uh, to produce, but um, I'm kind of trying to figure out, I'm gonna start a discussion on the surfie discuss mailing list soon to try to figure out what the right thing to do. Uh, people are not as much happy with a 60 to 90 day, day process anymore because uh, John in particular says um, it's a lot of effort when you have to do a sample implementation uh, to keep the implementation up when the, uh, when the API is changing in response to comments. So it's a lot nicer if you have a little bit more time to get the sample implementation done before the surfy is done. So that's one reason we might extend it a little bit, but definitely not a year. Um, that, that's only happened to three or four, uh, and we've got them finalized just before the conference. So I'm happy to say we're back down to just over the 90 days. Um, so yeah, uh, I also would like to add uh, semantic markup to the template. If, if I can find a way to do that, or if someone else can find a way to do that, uh, so that our design documents uh, can just be machine readable in a way that you can extract an index of all the APIs uh, that the, that the SURFI uh, produ uh, defines, uh, that would be really, really nice. Uh, it's kind of hard to do, but uh, in a way that makes everyone happy and doesn't require a lot of people to do a lot of work, or particularly the author to do a lot of work when they write the document in the first place. We want to keep the friction as low as possible for the authors, and at the same time, uh, 
get as much data out as we can automatically. So that's one ambition. And then another uh, um, is to have a search engine for SURFI bindings. That's kind of related. So uh, Cyprian Krekin, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. I've only met him by email. Uh, has proposed a format, uh, basically a kind of a JSON or S expression format that uh, you can use to encode APIs uh, and you know data about them, documentation, etc. Uh, and has actually gone through R7RS small and encoded everything that way. And I'm hoping that he'll go ahead and do that for Surfy as well. Uh, you know, that would make it really easy to create a, a nice search engine. And then we have. Uh, I was contacted by someone on IRC who really wants us to have something like Hoogle or Hayu, which uh, the Haskell community has. Um, so I would love to see that too. And if anyone would like to volunteer, uh, I really would uh, I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, it's a formal process for improving the language and extending it. Uh, it's surprisingly widely used. We have a pleasant community. and. Uh, even though a lot of people are quiet, uh, we have a lot of people listening, uh, 716 unique email addresses, uh, and I know these are not bouncing addresses. We, we, we have a third party company that manages the uh, email for us and they remove anyone who bounces. So, um, so please contribute. Uh, I would love to have more surfies added, uh, whether they're part of the R7RS large process or not. Uh, you know, I'm grateful for any new ideas. And sometimes, by the way, people take ideas, for example, from Racket or for other, from other implementations and kind of formally propose them through the surfy process to the rest of the community. Uh, so if you have an idea from another implementation that you just liked so much, uh, please uh, consider doing that as well. Um, even if you don't propose, have your own proposal, if you'd participate in the discussion, that would be great. Uh, we have a separate mailing list for every single surfy that you can contribute to even after the surfy is done. Uh, so people report errors and uh, bugs and that sort of thing there as well. Um, and then there's a surfy announce list, a surfy discuss list, and there's also a surfy auto subscribe, which lets you subscribe to every single mailing list on surfy in case you just want to know about each one as it's, uh, as it's added. And uh, et cetera, yeah. So if you want to work on a search index or uh, repo mirrors, uh, et cetera, uh, I'd be grateful. So uh, thank you very much. Right. To, so the question is whether uh, surfies describe contracts in the design documents. Uh, they do in English. Uh, we don't. You know, it, the, the process is old enough that it predates all of that kind right. of uh, kind of stuff. Um, I don't want to require that anyone uh, right. do it. Uh, on the other hand, uh, you know, anyone who does uh, that that would be great. Right. Um, so it would be kind of cool to have a way to add them on the side, mm -hmm. uh, uh, so that contributors could do it. As, as a separate thing, and actually that's what uh, Cyprian's uh, thing might do. Great. Yes? I think so there's something you said that you had, um, like, you've been relaxing the precision and APA deadline. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess that my question would be, like, why, why have the deadline at all? You know, like, a lot of the web standards um, have this dead day, like, those set of stages that you go through with clear criteria for how to tell when you're at that stage, and then when you get to, like, you know, usually it's stage four or whatever. Yeah, so the question is, uh, why have the deadlines at all? And the other standards uh, have sort of clear stages that you go through before you are finalized. Uh, maybe we should use something like that. So, uh, you know, I'm the eighth, I think, editor of the process. I inherited it. I've been only making very small changes to it. Um, but the, uh, the idea as presented by the original editors um, was that an idea that takes longer than 60 to 90 days isn't really well baked yet and therefore uh, isn't yet ready for the surfy process, that they really only wanted ideas which were, uh, needed some discussion, but uh, were very clearly articulated already. Um, I'm kind of of that same mindset, but I want to give people more time to get their implementations up, because now there's more emphasis on, their, on the implementations, and I think some of the more recent surfies are even more ambitious than the older ones, and the implementations take longer. Um, but I'm open to uh, ideas on this. Uh, you know, please join the Surfy Discuss mailing list. And, uh, I'm going to start a discussion in the next month or so to try
try to figure this out in the community. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.